Hello there and welcome to Linux S2O. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a modern terminal emulator and it's called Hyper. So let's just see it. So here is this terminal emulator and uh, it looks great and you can simply download it using this website. I will provide the link in the description. It comes with a typical .debian file and .rpm file. So you can choose as per your distribution. And if you are using any other distribution, then you can go with the app maze. And if you do not want to install these files, then also you can get the app maze and execute that file. If you need more information about app images, then you can check out this video. This will help you a lot. So let's see this terminal emulator, how it looks and what are the features that it offers being the modern terminal emulator. So here it is. It looks pretty clean and neat and you can do your stuff here. So for example, if you want to update your system, then you can type sudo apt update. Pretty regular command here. And uh, this will do just that. Now one thing you must have noticed here the sparkly effect on the beam and that is because I have installed a plugin in this emulator. So yes it supports plugins and themes also. So you can get these plugins and themes from the official website of course. If you go to the plugin section it offers these four plugins and uh, this one the one I'm using here and these three plugins also available. Apart from the plugins, it also offers these four themes and these four themes are very typical and they do not offer that much of customization. So somehow the picture is not loading, probably some issue with the website. So here is the theme and you can see the pictures here. It comes with these four options here. So you can simply install these themes. For, for example, if you want to install this theme, then you can execute this command here this one this is hyper i for install and the theme name that is written here similarly you can install the plugins in this terminal emulator and i have installed this plugin and customize it so that the color can match with the text so these are the things that it offers it's an open source project and uh, the downside of this terminal emulator is that uh, it's built on electron framework so Electron's applications are not very popular for their performance and they consume a lot of resources. So if you are someone who has low end hardware then you will find this terminal not so good. For example this is the regular terminal the GNOME terminal and this is the Hyper terminal. And if I show you the resources consumption here. So you will find that uh, the regular terminal is taking around 1.6 megabyte of this memory space and uh, the other one is uh, the hyper basically it's getting around 53 MB here, 21 MB here and 50 MB here. So around it's consuming 130 megabytes of your RAM and this is not very ideal as compared to the regular terminal emulator. But if you do not care about the hardware resources and you have plenty of it for example if you have at least like 8 gigabytes of RAM I mean there is no restriction that you have to have 8 gigabytes of RAM to install this terminal emulator there is no restriction so, but if you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM the experience will be smooth so this is hyper and uh, there are settings of course as well so if you click on here you can go to the edit option and preferences and this will show the file for the setting so this is like old school like the configuration file system where you can customize the look of your terminal. For example, I have added this font name so that the font can look good on my screen. And I've also changed the font weight is here. You can customize it using this configuration file and use it. This terminal emulator seems to be looking really cool and it has this sparkly effect as well. But it seems like it cannot use the configuration files for the best the user is specific for example it cannot use your aliases file vas rc file and related files so these are the files that you have in your system so if you hit the control h in the file manager you will find some bunch of hidden files for example vas aliases history logout and these files and these files are used by your terminal emulator for example this is my regular terminal emulator and here I can easily use some of my aliases to maximize my CLI experience. For example, if I want to update, I can type update, type in the password and this will update the repos on the system. I cannot do that with this terminal emulator. If I use the update, this will say 
update is not found in the system because it does not know how to read those files and this is a really bad downside of being the terminal emulator so this was really close i mean, I mean apart from the resources consumption the terminal emulator is really good looking but if i cannot customize it for my benefit then what's the point of having the terminal emulator and calling it hyper so that was the take on the hyper terminal emulator I hope you find this video a bit informative and helpful and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this terminal emulator in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying Linux.